Detroit is about to become just the third city to have a human atlas. That's an unfamiliar term to a lot of folks, but it involves finding 100 people who are making an impact on the city and telling their stories. Kim DiGiulio takes us inside the project that's coming to fruition tomorrow. It's full of nuance. It's full of resilience. It's full of remarkable people. And as I often say, Detroit is the smallest large city you're ever going to visit. That's Marcus Lyon, a British artist who spent three years making a human atlas of our city, something that he's done for Brazil, Germany, and now here. Bringing together a hundred nominated individuals who've done remarkable things in their communities, people who are moving the needle and creating social change. It's a book that comes to life when you scan each page with an app called iDetroit. Each individual telling their story of Detroit like Kirk Mays, the CEO of Forgotten Harvest. When you hover over your page. My name's Kirk Mays. Get out of here. I'm a father, a son, a husband, and a man. I got it right. Kirk is just seeing I Detroit for the very first time. I'm really happy that he got a chance to catch me uh, uncuffed and uh, in a moment where I could actually express myself. There are 99 other people from Detroit in this book with stories that are, as Marcus would say, the real Detroit. I'm literally a portal. I'm a, a vehicle in which we can tell that story more accurately to a world that often gets to hear the wrong story about Detroit. After spending time here and meeting the people of Detroit, Marcus says this book tells it all. The book launches tomorrow with a virtual meet and greet with Marcus, hosted by our very own Rhonda Walker. Tickets are available for free at our website at clickondetroit.com. That event starts at 11. You can also come here to the Charles H. Wright Museum to purchase your hard copy as soon as tomorrow. In Detroit, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.